Okay, so we're at the Tour de France 2014. We're going to see seated versus sitting climbing. It's still, he's got Chris Horner on the front here and the Bali on the back. Now, Chris Horner is represents the old school rider, a bit more, a little bit higher, uh, sorry, lower cadence. But he didn't last a few seconds with Nabali. Watch this. Look at the cadence differences. The yellow versus pink. Look at that high cadence. Red shoes. See you later. And a grinder just cannot keep up these days. But I've never seen some vegan pasta. Look at the cadence of the boys behind. All in the little chain ring. All in the little chain ring. Um, I read it on the internet today. I read on the internet today. It's famous last words. Someone says you should always ride in the big ring because you can juice more power. Actually, let me get a direct quote. When you're riding the big chain ring, you generate more power. And when you're in the small ring, you can only tend to align more cardio to get up your heel. So, this person says you generate more power in the big ring and you can only use cardio. Like, this has got no fucking idea. These guys are the strongest motherfuckers riders on the planet. Look at that cadence. Look at the barley in the saddle. Psst, psst, psst. Twin turbo boosting in the saddle, out the saddle, in the saddle, out the saddle. Just doing whatever it takes to keep the cadence up and the power up. All right? Look at that, watch, watch this, in the saddle, spooling the turbos, look at that cadence, 110, 110, 115, no cadence now, 100 cadence, Raphael Micah, cadence mate, if you're a grinder, you are dropped, look at Chris Horner, now he's dropped his cadence out the saddle again, but he's going to get popped, he's going to get spat out the back, he represents the old school, the new guard is here, everyone's got, everyone at the top, he's got access to the same team doctors, the same resources, etc, etc, you know, but we see that if you don't spin, you ain't winning shit. I mean, even if you got the best doctors in the world, best team support, if you ain't winning, you ain't spinning. You ain't spinning, you ain't winning. But people still out there, there's still noobs out there saying, just keep it in the big ring and push hard. And and that's the old school way, man. That's I see this all a lot of the time. I'm writing on someone every day, pretty much, and you see people grinding up there. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm trying to build strength. You don't need fucking strength to ride a bike fast up a hill. You need to be a motherfucking skinny cunt. You need to be a weak, weak, not a weak pussy, a weakling. A weakling. You need to be a weakling to ride a bike fast up a hill. Because look at how skinny these guys are. They're like borderline anorexic skinny. They're none of these cunts are as skinny as me. You know? And you don't need to be strong. You don't need strength. You need motherfucking red blood cell volume and cadence and mitochondrial efficiency with that efficiency, the pedaling stroke. You know, you basically need to turn your fucking legs into an electric motor, spinning that perfect circle. And only, you can only do that in high cadence. Another comment was, compact cranks are of the devil. They, uh, what was it they say? They, ex they exacerbate uh, bad pedaling technique. You will bonk faster riding up a hill with elevated heart rate than shot legs. Like, like, just what? Like, people who say that have never used a power meter. Or never looked at that actual data. People just don't know, but Let's look at this driver account. These, all, I mean, I, saw, I know some of these people, and they're I'm not saying they're bad people, but they're shit riders. For how long they've been riding for, they're fucking shit. They just don't learn. I mean, a lot of people would rather be a shit rider than learn from doing rider. You know, the pros. Look at these guys. Look at this cadence, mate. Out the saddle, in the saddle, whatever it fucking takes to get up the climb and spin it. But you still have. I know people who would like, like the guy in Thailand on the motorbike with his girlfriend on the back remember that story he didn't want me on the back of his wheel like he just couldn't hack that a vegan cyclist was keeping up with a motorbike so he fought around this corner almost crashed his girlfriend's like in a fucking skirt and thong flip flops and she's freaking out but he's full gassing around the corner because he couldn't hack that a vegan cyclist was going to pass him like they were just cruising along at like 30k an hour and I was a bit late so I was just sitting on 40 and I passed him and then he's like, oh, and he zoomed it up. And he's like, okay, we'll do 50. I'll sit in your slipstream. And he was just flipping out. So he would rather crash than let me pass. People would be rather become shit cyclists than change their bike to compact cranes, get a power meter, and listen to Duran Rotter. That's the weird, 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 weird world we live in. I mean, I've seen guys like do crazy shit and lose performance just because they just, I don't know, man. Some people are just fucking born dumb. I don't know what it is. But anyway, ego, ego, ego whatever, what do you want to call it? I mean, I've had debates with people the last 10 years. They're still fat shit cunts, you know? They're still fucking fat, and they're still saying wrong. We've had the same conversation for ten, over 10 years. And it's like, dude, you're still 100 kilos, right? I look like I'm ready to win the fucking Tour of France on 200 k's a week. Like, maybe I fucking know something. But look at these guys. Look at how fucking skinny they are, man. Valverde. Cadence. Look at Nabali. 
out the saddle showing off. Look at that skinny fucking pigeon chest. You don't need strength, guys. You don't need core strength. All these guys are weak as piss when it comes to the core strength. They, they, they do not have any gymnastic ability at all. Look at Cadence, out the saddle. Still fucking spinning. Still spinning. These guys are weak as piss. There's no strength there. This has got a hemoglobin of what, 170, 180, and they just can hold 400 watts, or six and a half watts per kilo, for fucking half an hour. That's what you need. That's not strength. That's cardio ability. It's not strength at all. It's not strength. They're probably doing about 500 watts now. That's not strength. That's endurance stamina. So stop working on strength and core, and start focusing on cadence and get a power meter, and hold 300 watts as long as you can at 90 cadence. That's all you have to do. But how do we get to become a fit cyclist? Just, if you're a girl, try and hold 200 watts for as long as you can. And if you're a guy, try and hold 300 watts as long as you can at 90 cadence. Do that as often as, often as you feel like it. They'll make you fit as fuck. All right? Just forget the gym. Forget doing fucking Russian twists and grinding or whatever fucking your knees up. And just get out there and spin at 90 cadence. Some more pasta. Thank you, darling. Got the vegan <laughs> chef here. Oh, little servant, huh? The naked vegan chef right now. Yeah, I hope that wasn't naked. on camera. Look at these cadence these guys. Look at these skinny these dudes are. These guys could probably fucking squat 50 kilos in the squat rack. And they get laughed at for any gym. But yet they're like the highest fucking cardio on the planet, mate. Look at the skinny he is, man. Boy needs a good feed. It's probably a vegan on the off-season to lose weight. That's what I mean. Cadence, motherfuckers. Cadence, all right? It's 2016. If you ain't spinning, you ain't winning shit. Obviously, people are, oh, I'm not going to be a Tour de France. Yeah, fair enough. Never mind. But you still want to spin. You reduce your injury. You burn more fat. Load your lungs and heart. Don't fuck your legs up. Don't fuck your joints up. And get a power meter, man. And learn what your limits are. If you're not training with power then you're really not really doing much. You, you, you just, you won't fucking learn. You won't get your best unless you're riding the power meter as a pacing tool. And after a few weeks and a few months of riding power, you'll soon learn power and cadence. There's no value there. Look how skinny these guys are. You don't need strength to be a good cyclist. Look how skinny he is, man. Dude's fucking animal as fuck. It's not strength. It's fucking endurance. It's three to 400 watts for as long as you can at 90 to 100 cadence. That's all you have to do.